Alô, alô, torcida tricolor. My name is Enzo with Fluminense in English, and today I'm here with your news for Tuesday, April the 23rd. And I wasn't even going to make this video because I already released a video this morning for the news of yesterday. But so much stuff has happened today, I decided just to make a quick little news segment for the nighttime. Before we start, I'd like to say um, sorry for the scenery change here. There was some stuff going on in my room, and it was too loud to record a video, so I had to come in here. As well as the fact that I am sick, so my voice may sound a little different, and my breathing may be a little weird, so I'm sorry about that. But yeah, let's get right into the news. Starting off with the man of the hour, Thiago Silva. Word on the street is that he has reached an agreement with Fluminense to come to the club at the end of his contract with Chelsea. Now for probably the biggest news story today, four Fluminense players, Alexander, Arthur, Jean Kennedy, and Kawa Elias, have been suspended after bringing women to a party at the pregame hotel for the game against Vasco. And I think this is just completely unacceptable. As a professional football player, you're, there's a time for partying. And there's a time to lock in for the game. A game against your one of your biggest rivals. And you're going to be goofing off and partying before that game. I think it's completely unacceptable. And the sentence is completely deserved. Renato Augusto had a few things to say about this, these acts. Saying that it was a shock for sure. But the team needs to focus on the games ahead. And I agree with him. Now that Lele has been injured and Jean Kennedy is suspended, there will be no backup striker for Germán Cano. So uh, it's interesting. That's a whole thing right there. That's interesting. And I want to see what the club will do about that. Now for some squad news. Calegri has returned to the squad and did travel with the team to Cerro Porteño for the Libertadores game. And um, I'm wishing him the best, hoping he gets some minutes in that game and is able just to recuperate and return strongly to the squad. A little bit of transfer news here. Gustavo Apis has been loaned to Novi Guasu, and the 24-year-old will be playing there for the 4th Division side from Novi Guasu. This team name is the same name as the city they're from. Another team in Rio de Janeiro, they play the Carioca. In fact, we faced them earlier this year. So I'm wishing him the best there, hoping he has a great loan spell. Thank you guys for watching. I know it was a little bit of a shorter, like, urgent notice, late night video. But um, today's news from earlier in the day is in the channel right there. So you can check that out there. Please consider subscribing and liking if you haven't already. Leave a comment down below what your thoughts are on today's news. And um, here are all my Instagram accounts, including a new Fluminense urgent notice in English news account, which you can follow there. I post the news a lot sooner than I would on this account on YouTube because I don't really have time to record a lot of videos as I am a student and yeah that's all for today I've been Enzo Turnipseed with Fluminense in English thank you for watching